Hello my Cine Chums and welcome to week 28 of the 2023 Weekly Movie Challenge where every week we issue a challenge watch an unseen movie that meets certain criteria. What? You want to watch Romancing the Stone for the hundredth time? What'd you do? Wake up this morning and say Today, I'm gonna ruin a man's life! Okay, fine. If you want to do a rewatch to complete the challenge, you're more than welcome. Last week's challenge was to watch a movie based solely on its poster. Once again, you all delivered the goods with some absolutely standout posters, regardless of whether the movie was any good or not. Prizes for multiple watches this week go to Ry Andrews, who watched The Platform and The Echelon Conspiracy. Ghost Pirate Lechonk watched Manborg and Inside. Simon A.H. watched The Graduate and Convoy. And I myself managed two movies this week. I watched House, which was also watched by Pirate DJ. Absolutely insane. Never seen anything like it before. And Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. Let's, let's just say it's not going to get a rewatch anytime soon. Four movies that caught my eye this week. Um, Ghost Pirate Lechonk watched Manborg and Inside, as I've just mentioned. Um, absolutely love both of those posters. I love the geometric breakdown of Willem Dafoe on the Inside poster. Um, but Manborg poster, that screams to me. Both of those were instantly added to the watch list. We also love the watercolour poster of Lola Montez, which is rushed by Bushes69. It's not often you see watercolours on a poster like that. And finally, Nightwolf Nim watched The Nest. What can we say? As horror fans, we absolutely love that poster, and that's another movie that got an instant add to the watch list. So thanks to everyone who completed this week's challenge. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed seeing what you'd all chosen. This week's challenge is to take two of your favourite movie genres and watch a movie that encapsulates both of them. We're calling this the Genre Mashup Challenge. So, for example, if you love action movies and you love comedy movies, have you seen 21 Jump Street, the movie reboot of the old TV series? We watched it expecting the worst, but found it really funny and were really surprised at Channing Tatum's knack for comedy. Also worth checking out, Stephen Chow's Kung Fu Hustle, uh, Shoot 'em Up starring Clive Owen, or Ben Wheatley's ensemble Free Fire. Quick look at some other genre mashups. For adventure romance, how about the 80s classic Romancing the Stone? The first of three films which saw Kathleen Turner, Michael Douglas and Danny DeVito work together. Or there's Rob Reiner's The Princess Bride. Um, there's The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Or The African Queen with Humphrey Bogart and Audrey Hepburn. For sci-fi action fans, have you seen the original Westworld that the HBO TV show was based on? Which also gets you a bonus genre of Western. Also worth checking out is Dread, which really deserved a sequel. Uh, the Fifth Element. Fun fact, my dog is named Lilu Dallas Multipass. Or Logan's Run, which like Westworld, could potentially make for a fantastic modern day remake. The Little Shop of Horrors. A dark comedy about a florist who discovers a man-eating plant is probably one of my favourite musical comedies of all time. There's also The Producers, which, to be fair, I'm probably in the minority when I say I prefer the remake over the original. There's arguably the greatest musical comedy of all time, The Blues Brothers. And while not technically a musical in the traditional sense, we've got a bit of a soft spot for Pitch Perfect. As mentioned before, we love a horror movie, so a great sci-fi horror choice is Paul W.S. Anderson's Events Horizon about a distress signal from the Event Horizon Starship, which arrived seven years after the ship first disappeared. Other sci-fi horrors worth checking out. If you haven't seen them already, there's David Cronenberg's The Fly remake, John Carpenter's The Thing, which some call a remake, but technically it's an adaptation of the sodium source materials as The Thing from Another World, and also The Cube, a low-budget but excellent sci-fi horror about six strangers who awake to find themselves trapped inside a maze that's filled with deadly traps. If more serious sci-fi is your thing, how about sci-fi drama, such as Alex Garland's Ex Machina, about a tech billionaire genius who um, selects one of his programmers to conduct a Turing test on an android that he's built. Also worth a look at is Duncan Jones's Moon, um, Alfonso Cuaron's Children of Men, or Steven Spielberg's Artificial Intelligence. For horror comedies, we're absolute fans of Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, about two hillbillies who try to help some college kids up while on vacation. However, the college kids get a bit worried and think the hillbillies are trying to kill them. If you're a fan of gore, have you seen Peter Jackson's Dead Alive, aka Brain Dead? Or how about 80s cult classics such as The Return of the Living Dead or The Monster Squad? And finally, The Notebook is probably one of everyone's favourite 
romantic dramas about a young man who falls in love with a woman from a wealthy family. However, social status gets in the way. And if you haven't seen them, don't forget to check out Ang Lee's award-winning Brokeback Mountain, Richard Linklater's The Before series, or from the extraordinary mind of Charlie Kaufman, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So that's your challenge this week. Pick two of your favourite genres and watch a movie that encapsulates both of them. What are your favourite genres? Let us know in the comments below, along with any suggestions of what to watch. If you're going to give this week's challenge a go, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And on that note, thanks for watching. Good luck with the challenge, and we'll see you next week.